Hello. <laughs> um, happy to be here. <laughs> so um, we like to spend a uh, few hours with you, talking something that is very important part of the um, uh, we call sexual vitality qigong. So we're going to have two parts. One is sexual vitality, and one is the multi-orgasm couple. Okay? Uh, sexual energy is a very important part in our life. Okay? And, um, um, so um, we're going to talk about the sexual energy because in the Taoism we regard them as uh, original force. Okay? It starts from we born, we start from one cell, one cell, okay? one of the father, one of the mother, and come together. And this one cell started to split and make copy, okay? copy and copy and copy. So from one cell to two, two to four, and to trillion cells. The whole problem is that we, after we make so many trillion cells and we're still using the old copy to make copy, so we get blur. <laughs> so the Taoism Dao, always talking about what is the primordial force, what is the original force. So in this level of our body, the sexual energy is the original force. Okay? Because from one copy, make to trillion copy, and from trillion copy, we make up to, it depends how, how how, how old we are now. If you're 40, you multiply by 6.5 trillion, and you have what the big number. <laughs> the big number for that. So if you make that kind of copy and copy and copy and copy, the oldest copy we make, the, the, the latest copy we make, we make, we blur. And the whole thing that we have is the copy that we make, uh, if we have a lot of trauma, uh, emotional, and a negative emotional, you're gonna make the neck copy again, and make copy and neck copy. It's just we always make copy from our young, and we have the trauma with us until we really old. Okay, so the Taoism said we have to go back to original copy, and to take the original copy and make that copy again. So it's a very important part, and they discover that love and orgasm have the same pattern of energy. So the sexual energy is the energy that we, um, men and women are different. Okay? Men, our energy come from the below, go upward. Women from the energy from above, going downward. <clears throat> so that is the um, differences of the energy. One is earth energy, one is heaven energy come in, and they will unite together, become one force. Okay? Now, um, so in the Taoism, they discover that the sexual energy involves so much in our body. So how can we make our sexual organ strong and healthy? So that is the first thing we want to do. So one thing is that the sexual energy tend to always flow down. <clears throat> how can we have the sexual energy flow upward? Okay? So we call a human way and a heavenly way. So they have what we call by turning the wheel, turning the wheel. So when you're turning the wheel, you started to draw the sexual energy upward. Now in the West, they, they discover that sexual hormone have tremendous affecting our brain. Okay? Now in the Taoism said, it definitely affect not only the brain, affect everything. Because the sexual energy is the original energy. So if you want to give the organ a good copy, go back to sexual energy, and you tell the sexual energy to change anything you want. Love and sex is the most powerful energy because that is the original force. Now, one thing about the sexual energy will affecting the brain. So in the Taoism, discover that when sexual hormone rises to the brain, it will strengthening the brain. When old men, when we're getting old, the brain shrinks down, okay? Because the more, the, uh, when we're talking about the more we lose sexual energy out without any purpose, 
the more empty the brain, especially men. So that is uh, the West also discovered this. Men, when they get old, the brain gets shrunk down. You see, the young men, the brain get bigger. <laughs> it's still big, but getting older, older, smaller, 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 and shrunk down very small. Okay. Now they also have a study that when um, when a menopause and the lack of sexual hormone come up to stimulate the brain, and that is one of the major cause of Alzheimer's disease. And that's what the research in the Alzheimer's uh, Association, they discovered that. But they don't know what to do. All they do is put more sexual hormone uh, substitutes into the body. But the body sometimes, uh, the hormone that we produce out is like left hand and like right hand. That you copy the right hand, it becomes left hand. So the body sometimes they confuse. They say, what is that? Close but not close. No? It's, not, it's not exactly the same pattern. So the body don't know how to use them in a proper way. So in lady, okay, I mean in the West, in the West that um, one day I sit down and watch the CNN and uh, Lady King interview one of the top surgeons in the country. I mean, he been cut the uh, cesarean, the bread and ori and everything, you know. So he's, he must be cut a lot. <laughs> okay, so he become the top surgeon in the country. You know. <laughs> so, uh, so um, and after that, they the interview say how uh, that the the trends is so many women in this world uh, in the in the state will be have breast cancer, and uterus cancer. So one lady called, it, how can I prevent it? So you know what he answered, he said, if you don't have breasts and you don't have uterus, you don't have cancer. So that is a very simple one. Huh? <laughs> so if you have it, you're going to get it. <laughs> so, but in a, in a Taoism said, if you work on it, you definitely get out of it. Okay? So the whole thing is that you have the sexual organs, either we work for, you work for it or you, you lose it. So there's the only two things. Okay? But in our society, working on a sexual organ, oh my God, you know, it's very sinful, you know. <laughs> and you have to pray to God and ask for forgiveness for working on your sexual organ. <laughs> because we think that is very sinful, okay, and you should not touch them at all, okay. But in the West, you know, after you close the door, you do whatever you want. <laughs> but the whole problem is that you do it in the wrong way, <laughs> and you don't do it in the right way, okay. So you, have not, you don't have knowledge, but you want to do it. That's the whole problem we have here. So um, in the Taoism, they said, if we understand it and work for it, you get the power. Okay? One thing is very interesting about, so we can do the whole thing is involved with women, how to conserve or reduce the menopause and, and, and menstruations. So women have to learn how to reduce the menstruations shorten down the period and no cramp, okay, no pain. So that's the first thing. So in that way alone, you save a lot of energy. So for seven days, you reduce out to five days, to three days, to two days, to one day. Okay? In that way, you, you save a lot of energy. And when you reduce down to one day or half a day, you save a lot of money also. You don't have to buy too many, <laughs> too many tampons. You, know? you save a lot of money for that. Yeah, but this is what the Tao practice is really see the, the result. When lady, because lady, the blood leakage, sometimes come for seven days and leak another three days, ten days. So one month to 30 days, you already gone 10 days, you know, okay? And you cannot enjoy anything at all, <laughs> okay? So, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's hard, and you really lose the energy out of your body. Now, in a man, you're talking about how can you conserve the sexual energy. Okay? In, in the Tao ways, is that you don't have to ejaculation every time unless you want to have children. So that is a very... Uh, um, so... Otherwise, we don't know what the ejaculation for. After you, want, you have one or two children, and we have six, trillion, six billion people now, right? 
So everybody who had to save, <laughs> we, don't have, we don't need too many children now. So what the purpose of ejaculation to? Okay? So the Taoism, so some people don't understand why the monk, why the monk, their celibacy. Because they want to conserve energy. Conserve sexual energy and transform the sexual energy up to a higher spiritual work. And that's what the monk do. So what we're doing here as a party uh, conserve the sexual energy, not ejaculation, but you can have sex or make love because the whole mechanical we're going to be explained very clear. So this one is a research in the um, Tucson, Arizona, and they discover one worm have very similar cell like human. And they discover that making sperm in worm shorten life. Okay? <laughs> So, uh, so, they just, so, so uh, very similar, so they say maybe this is easier because human lifespan is about 60 years old, so it takes a long time to, to measure them. So the worm, so the normal worm, they live 8.1 day. And they, after they mature, about three days, they like, they like to make love, make, have sex like crazy, day and night. You know? So they say, this is good to research them. Okay? <laughs> so after that, so they say, okay, let me make them no, uh, no sex. What happened? So I keep the name called Taos, uh, the, the monk worm. Like monk, no sex. Okay. <laughs> so no sex. So they discover that the worm actually live a little bit longer. 11.1 day. Longer than normal. But actually uh, the monk don't live longer than us and now. <laughs> <laughs> and after that they say, okay, let's do some research on cascade out the, the, the worm. The one that producing the sperm, but still let them have sex the way they want. So they, they stress off the one that know making sperm and still let them make, make love, have sex. Okay? And they discover that the worm live up to 14 days. So nearly double, nearly double a normal lifespan. Okay? So I give the, the name called Tao's worm. <laughs> so, so the Tao worm is that how can you enjoy love, enjoy sex, make love? If you don't want children, you can reserve, conserve the energy back. And that is one part of the Qigong practice. It's a very important part of practice. So the, first, um, so the first thing we want to do is we call turning the wheel. Okay, turning the wheel. And it's very, the whole purpose is very simple. We want to draw the sexual energy upward. We want to draw them upward. Okay? And um, now, in normal way, when we sleep, if we sleep about very good sleep from uh, 11 to 3, about that, uh, 11, 11 o'clock to about 3 o'clock, that time the sexual hormone started to produce. Okay? If we wake up and sleep, wake up and sleep, the sexual hormone will be producing less. Okay? And that we wake up and we feel no energy. We call, in the Taoism, we call no jing qi, no sexual energy. That means you don't have energy to work. You have no energy to do anything. So that's why, um, because the sexual energy cannot reach to the brain. Okay? Cannot reach up to the brain. And that um, normally, if the normal way, we have sexual hormone produced and reach up to the brain and stimulate the brain. And that's how this, um, it works that way. Okay? When we get tired, sicker, less energy, less sexual hormone, so the sexual hormone will less going up to stimulate the brain. So the brain started to work not work really well. And that's what the Tao believe that. So to enhance the drawing the energy up into the brain and stimulate the brain is very important. So the first uh, practice we call turning the wheel. Turning the, the wheel. So we turning the wheel, so we turn. So the first part in what we are rolling the eyes. Okay? So the eye, you started to Look, look to the front, looking down, looking back, looking up, okay? So um, 
Um, so you're turning the wheel. Okay, you're turning the wheel. So they have one wheel is the eye rolling. One wheel is the, uh, uh, is the sexual organ contract and draw up. So we're going to divide into three parts. One is from here, come up to here. From, from here, we come pour the energy up into the navel and come up to the spine and we pour it to the heart and come up to the brain and pour in the brain and bring the energy back down. So we call turning the water wheel. Okay, turning the water wheel. So um, the turning of water wheel involves with bringing more sexual energy up into the brain. And that's what all the monks and nuns they do. And they hope there are no sex. So first thing, um, when they become monk or become nun, they put a big X on here. So there are no sex. Okay? So, and they pray and chant and sing and think high. Think very high. So one day, they hope the energy will go up. And go up to become a higher spiritual work. Okay? But in the Taoism, they said, we have so much sexual energy. And we come to this world not only for, uh, we need to take care of our body. We ne need to take care of other people. And we need to take care of our spiritual work also. So the first thing, the sexual energy is circulating back to you. And when you have more energy, you transform up to a higher level. You can use them for healing, helping, and spiritual work. So that is a very important part to understand this part. Because if you suppress the sex and don't work with the sex, you end up with, with losing more energy than gaining energy. Okay? And that is what the suppressing sex are causing a lot of problems when the energy don't move up. So the, let's do the first exercise we call turning the wheel. Okay? And turning the wheel, we started with um, turning the energy ball. So, um, so we're going to start with the eye rolling. Okay? The eye rolling. So we start with looking the eye, the eye looking down. So you close your eyes. You can close your eyes. Looking down. Looking back. Looking up. Looking to the front. Looking down. Looking back. Looking up. Looking to the front. Looking down. Looking back. Looking up. Looking to the front. Looking down, looking back, looking up, looking to the front. So we call turning the wheel. Okay? So we have our upper wheel. Actually, it's the uh, part of the cranial pump. Part of the cranial pump here. Okay? And the cranial pump is how you, when you move your eye in a proper way, it helps you activate the cranial, the spinal cord fluid in the brain here. So that is a cranial pump. So the next one.